Hello there, very good morning to you. How are we all today? Well, you're watching Sewing Street, if you're new to us, here we are. Uh, we're live for the next couple of hours and for as long as we can be. Um, my name's Debbie Shaw and this morning we're going to bring in you something a little bit different, but it is going to be kind of a format that we're bring, bringing you going forward. The first hour we're talking about Sashko and it's not just myself, we've got a video of Cara Aikerman and she's going to be telling us a little bit more about the techniques and some of the kits that we have for you on the show as well. Um, in the second hour we have fabric panels and fabric panels, we have have newness and we have exclusives coming up as well and if you'd like to come and join in and be part of the show today then whiz over to our Facebook page and uh, leave me a message if you go to the Sewing Street Facebook page and go to visitor posts that's what I've got open on my phone right now so I'll be able to read any messages and hopefully answer any questions um, that you may have for us so let us know what you do what are you up to what are you sewing what would you like to what are the plans for today I was um, looking on my Facebook page last night and there's there are so many of us that are missing our grandchildren. One of mine's living with us at the moment, which is fabulous, and the other one is three and a half hours away, so it's going to be quite a long time since we, since we see her. Um, but isn't um, FaceTime and Skype amazing, so we can still keep in touch. So, yeah, come let us know what you're doing. Um, right, now then, um, the, the panels... Oh, the panels are so... No, wait till next hour. No, we'll have nothing to sell. Um, no, that's fine. You have a look on our website on sewingstreet.com and you'll be able to take a look at everything that we're going to be bringing you over the next two hours. So if you're, if you're a bit busy and you don't want to wait live then um, you can place your order there right now if you wish and have a look at everything else that we have for you on our channel what we do have for you every day is an early bird special as well as often as we can we, 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 we are kind of fulfilling the everyday target at the moment and today's Oh, your Millwood scissor gift set. These are gorgeous, as in quality of the scissors. Scissors are one of the most important tools you will have in your sewing arsenal. Your machine, your fabrics, your scissors, your iron. Really, really important. Um, but this is a lovely gift set of really high quality scissors. And an early bird means that we take the price down while we have the stock. So these are only £14.99. So you're saving £5 off the usual price. It says here three ninety five all day, um, and that's your postage. And all day meaning that if you buy these right now and you pay your fourteen ninety nine plus your three ninety five postage, and then you want to come back later on and maybe you do want to buy a panel or another pair of scissors or some pinking shears or a set of needles, if you order anything else throughout the day before midnight tonight, we will still only charge you that one three ninety five postage. So I mean, check out go you know buy them because there is a limited amount of stock that we have at a reduced price. So if you wanted to go for your scissors, buy them now, pay for them, they're yours. And then if you come back later on during the day and you want to add anything else or you need to buy anything else, we're not going to charge you any extra postage. But let's have a look at these. Just move Cara's lovely samples out of the way. Um, we have shears and these are really sharp all the way down to the end and that's something that I love about a pair of scissors and that may sound silly but if I want to snip into very tiny areas or cut off the tiniest of thread I know that I can do that with an incredibly sharp pair of scissors and these are absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're, I was just cutting this piece of fabric earlier on and they kind of melt in your hand so although they're quite a substantial scissor um, they, they really do cut very, very easily and cleanly. Um, it's not just these though, so those are your shears. There's also your little snips as well. And tried and tested, and look at these. If you're embroidering, if you're sash coing, if you're cross stitching, you can cut, let me just cut one of those two threads. Tiny, tiny amounts of thread. So perfect for little snips, but these are kind of handbag size as well. And I love that vintage look they have to them as well. But you know, I don't care what scissors look like, it's the job that they do that's the most important things, and those will do the job perfectly. We're also going to give you a little set of silver-headed pins, so they're a bit posh. And you have a thimble as well. I do like a thimble. I actually collect thimbles. I've got loads of them. So this is the whole collection, and they do come to you beautifully packaged as well like so. So if it is a gift, I can't see anybody who sews or is maybe starting um, a journey in sewing that's going to be disappointed by receiving something like this. And you know, for £14.99, 
Expect to pay £35 for a really good pair of scissors, honestly. Um, so you've got great value there as well. You can order as many as you like. So if you think, well, I want some, but I want to buy some for my friend who sews, um, or a member of my family who sews, or I'm being really frugal and spreading the cost of Christmas. I know I said the C word and it's only April, um, but why not? When you see a bargain, grab it, put it in your bottom drawer, and then come December, when hopefully things are going to be wonderful again, um, you'll have all your presents in the bag, so you can you can think about other things rather than going out Christmas shopping. I shan't mention Christmas again, promise. Well, I might do. I might mention Easter, that's a couple of weeks away. This could be an Easter present that doesn't put weight on your hips. <laughs> um, and again, just £14.99, BFZW48 is your item code if you would like to order. Right, OK, let's move on to... Sashko. Um, we do have lots of one, two, three, nine kits for you all together. These are the three that Cara is going to talk around and demonstrate. But if you're not familiar with the technique or what's, what on earth is Sashko, this is the effect that you're going to be able to create. The coasters are like a, a little showcase of different stitching techniques or, or different patterns. So you don't have to, you know, embroider something that's really large. These are, are very achievable projects in short spaces of time. And we've got different colour projects for you as well. So that's just a, a little bit of a taster for you as to what's coming up in the rest of the hour. We have a video of Cara that she's filmed for us and she's going to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about what she's going to do. Hello everyone. Oh my goodness, this is so, so strange. Um, hello, my name's Cara Ackerman. I'm an avid stitcher. Some of you might have seen me before on another channel. Um, but hello to everybody that's new at Sewing Street. Um, this is so strange because I was supposed to be joining you on Monday. And obviously with everything that's happened, um, I'm not. I'm at home. And then last night, Hayley said, mm, would you have a go at um, doing some recording at home? And I said, oh, OK, I will do. And I wasn't sure how we were going to do it and what was going to happen and whether it's any good. So I apologise now if it's not. But it's just so, so nice to be able to actually share my love of stitching with all of you. And first of all, say hi to everybody and um, especially the team at the studio. It's so, so good to be working with everybody again and um, new faces as well. John, I can't wait to meet you. Um, so I hope it won't be too long, but most importantly, I hope you're all staying safe and well and staying indoors and stitching. I'm loving it, absolutely loving the fact that I can sit down and stitch and, um, you know, I'm not tempted to go out shopping or anything like that. It's just so, so nice and so therapeutic. I'm sure a lot of you are finding it very th therapeutic at this time. Um, but anyway, so what are we going to talk about today? Sashko. Now, Susan Briscoe is the queen of Sashko and I am totally in awe of her knowledge and everything that she does with Sashko. Um, but it's so, so nice to be able to bring it to a new audience and also to people who maybe have never done it before. So today we're going to actually do things like this, which is lovely, which is a placemat on a beautiful, beautiful sort of lovely bluey green fabric. And then we've got four coasters like this. And I know the team at the studio will show you exactly what, what's on offer. And a little bit later, I'm hoping to do a demo for you. Um, but as I say, Sashko is just a beautiful um, way of stitching. It originated in Japan years and years ago, and it actually was used to mend garments when they were wearing out and also to um, stitch onto garments to make them a lot warmer. Um, in Sue's book, this one here, which is the wrong way around, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but in um, Sue's ultimate source book, there is a lot of information about the Sashko um, stitching and a lot of history. And then the other book, the Simple Sashko book as well, has got lots of lovely modern projects. And I think it's quite nice to take a traditional technique and actually put it into something that's quite modern. 
So we're going to be hearing some more from uh, Cara shortly and she'll be giving us a full demonstration as well. Um, just before we show you this, we do have some products to show you as well. Um, this is the Ultimate Sashko Source Book. So if you need more resources, particularly if you're new to the technique, this book is absolutely jam-packed full of not just techniques, but different projects that you can make as well. Um, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That may be something to aspire to. And I think Cara's right, this is kind of a relaxing, a therapeutic hobby. Uh, and for the actual embroidery itself, a little bit about the history as well, which is really interesting. Um, you don't need your sewing machine, of course, so this could be something that you're doing while you're sitting in front of the TV or you've got friends and family around and you don't want to distance yourself um, by if you've got friends and family around. Listen to me. <laughs> if there are other people in your household that can't get out either, um, <laughs> This is something that you can do that doesn't disturb them, is what I was, what I was trying to get around to. Friends and family around, that's a thing of the past, isn't it? Um, but the, um, the things that you need to get going as well, different basic stitches for you, and um, some samplers, so some of the projects. So I really think there's something for everybody in here. It's a nice thick book as well. Um, these are from um, Susan Briscoe, and your price is just £11 and 99 pence. The RRP is actually £15.99. Sorry, Susan, I know the feeling. <laughs> Happens a lot on Sewing Street, doesn't it? Really? That price? Um, but again, we've got little projects in here. There are larger projects, but I, I like the whole history and, and what you actually need um, to get yourself going. So it's not just about the projects. It makes an interesting book to read um, as well. Lots of different shapes. Oh, those are lovely, aren't they? The cranes. How unusual. Oh, oh, oh. Something new every time you turn a page. Colours are nice as well. So used to seeing Sashka in, in blues and whites. It's nice to see different colours too. Okay, so there you go. That's £11.99. EUP U16 is your item code if you'd like to order. Uh, morning, Jenny. Jenny's placed her order for the new panels already last night. Can't wait for them to arrive and loving the shows. Thank you very much. So, is the family getting involved in sewing? Have you got somebody new that's joining you um, at the sewing machine? Um, maybe paid no interest to you whatsoever as you sit there and sew as your hobby, but now they want to get started and get going. Or do you want to learn a new technique? Is Sashko something that you've seen or you haven't seen before and you think, I should like to have a go at that? Then now's a good time. Have a look on the website again, sewingstreet.com, and that'll give you the details of all of the different kits that we have for you, the books that we have for you. And if you just wanted needles and thread, if you've already got books and patterns, then uh, we've got those on the show for you as well. This again is by Susan Briscoe, and this one is um, Simple Sashko. So eight projects for the modern home we're looking at here. Because it does have a very modern appeal, doesn't it? Depending on the projects that you make out of it, I suppose. So again, there's your basic te te techniques, your basic stitches. So simple projects, very simply explained as well. So greetings cards, you don't even have to make something, you know, lot. you don't even have to get the sewing machine out to make those. So we've got the cushion cover. Lots of instructions and diagrams, I do like that. There's your um, table runner. Love that asymmetrical design and the leaf there as well. A coaster, so that could be a quick project got pocket hanging so you've got purposeful projects as well. Long samplers so you can put those in a frame and decorate your home. Wool hangings. So these would make lovely gifts as well and I think there are projects, those are all of them look, that you can take your time over or if you wanted something that's quite quick then just go for one of the smaller projects like the coaster. But lovely gift ideas as well. So that's simple sash coat, it's only £6.99, RRP 9.99, sorry again Susan. <laughs> and that's XFP U60, there's your item number if you'd like to order that. Let me take you through the kits, now we've got quite a few. So we'll start at the very beginning, which is your brown set. I'm not going to take them all out because there is an image on the front that you can take a look at and um, that'll give you an idea of what you're going to make with them. So in here you have your fabric which is pre-printed, so all you need to do is to follow the lines. You have your thread and you have your needles. 
these lines will wash off. So please don't pre-wash your fabric, else you're washing away the pattern. Um, but if you do miss any of the lines, if you don't sew them absolutely perfectly, at least you're not going to see those when your project's finished. So that's £22.99 your price for those. Next up, we've got the cream set. So this has got the blue thread. And this is what you're going to be making with this one. So that's £22.99 again. And that's a, a table mat kind of size, or maybe more of a, a centerpiece kind of size, including your thread and including your needles. So there's three needles included there. We do have those available on their own, by the way. So if you just wanted needles and thread, we have the accrue and we have the needles on their own. I'll give you the details later on. This is one of the projects that um, Cara is going to de demonstrate, which is actually this one. I love the thickness of the thread, it's very textural. So your thread is included, your needles are included, your price is £22.99. This is another one that Cara is going to demonstrate or talk us around, and this is actually this one. She, she's kind of left this one unfinished and we thought, oh. Um, but <laughs> I think what she's going to do is show you the technique of going around the circles. Because initially I would imagine that you sew a circle, then sew another circle. And no, this is a lot more accurate way. So that's the way that it's been made, which is really interesting. So thanks for that, Cara. And there again is your kit. So for £22.99 you have all of the thread that you need. You have your printed panel and you have your three needles again. P-A-X-C-4-2 is your item code for that one. Now this is the olive taupe. I think green when I think olive, like a dark green, and this, this isn't, but there you go. Um, so order olive if you want this colour. Needles, ecru thread, £22.99 again. These are all the same size, by the way, what you're going to be, be making with those. Then we're going to move on to the white coasters, needles, thread, same deal, same price, £22.99. And there are four coasters in there all together with four different designs. So four little projects for you to make. Then we've got another four coasters here, again on the cream with the navy thread. So are there four of the, you in the household? Maybe you could each make a coaster. Or, yeah, that'd fill a whole day, wouldn't it? That'd be a really nice thing to do. Um, and again, £22.99 is your price there. Or that could be four little, I'm going to say it again, stocking fillers. Um, four little gifts, maybe. You could, I did say I wouldn't mention Christmas, didn't I? I'm one of those people, we don't have many Christmas presents to buy. We only buy for the kids um, these days. So there's only two. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two granddaughters, we buy for the granddaughters. So I don't have an awful lot of shopping to do. Um, so I tend to get all complacent and I am one of these people that two days before Christmas think, oh, can people still deliver that shortly? So this year I am thinking way ahead. <laughs> it, it probably won't be Sashko that I'm buying them, but you know, if you are thinking ahead, you never know. Um, again, £22.99, you have your ecru thread. This is the pale grey background and the four coasters again with four different techniques for you to sew there. And then finally are the navy coasters, which you've been buying already. Well done, you. And this is what you're going to be able to make. So four different designs and again you've got the ecru thread your three needles and your printed pattern on your fabric already for £22.99 so if you want a recap then do take a look on our website on sewing quarter sewing quarter I did that yesterday didn't I on sewing same thing same thing um, on sewingstreet.com and um, you'll be able to take a look at everything that we have available for you. Um, but let's go back over to Cara. She's going to explain a little bit more about the techniques and demonstrate the three uh, products that I just showed you. Aren't these beautiful? These are two lovely projects, really, really good to get people started and ideal for beginners. So we have a mat here, um, which is really pretty and it has these beautiful circular patterns on 
very, very easy to do and doesn't take too long. We also have four coasters and you'll see they've got different patterns on them as well. And um, back at the studio, I know that they'll go through these particular items with you, but it's just so nice to see them all together. And uh, I think they'd look perfect on anybody's table. So as I say, you'll go through um, the, the packs and everything, the um, items that you'll need. This is a beautiful, I don't know if it's come up with the colour on um, this particular recording, but it's like a denim colour and we've used white Sashko thread as well. And then the others are more traditional. So you've got the um, navy background fabric. And this is very, very much like a linen type effect. Um, I would say it's slightly thicker than the mat and it's got this gorgeous texture to it. But again, we're using the white Sashko thread and it's so effective. And these are just different patterns that you can follow on here. And as I say, back at the studio, I know that they'll go through them in more detail with you. Um, I wanted to actually take this moment as well to show you the instructions. So it's always good to have some good instructions, isn't it? And OK, they may be in Japanese, but they're very visual as well. So you can actually follow them very clearly. And when we come to the demonstration, um, I will go over certain things. Um, but if you can see that, um, there's different colours here and there's arrows and numbers. And say, for example, this particular one, this gorgeous one here, um, it is telling you how to stitch, where to start. So the number one is there and you're following the pink line. And the whole thing about Sashko is to try and keep it as a continual line. So when you're stitching, you don't really want to stop and start, stop and start. You want to follow and continue a line. And it's much, much nicer when you do it like that. So this particular one, you've got the um, pink line there that you're going to follow. And there's an arrow with the direction. And you'll see this dotted line here. And this is where the thread is on the back of the fabric. And we'll go over that in a bit more detail in a moment. Um, but you'll have it as a loose thread on the back there. And then you'll follow it down and come back up. And as you can see, if you continue like that, you are actually following a very, very smooth and logical line. On the next one, you'll see there's two lines. So you'll be starting again with pink. So we've got the pink line there starting at number one. You're going to be stitching over and under, over and under. And this is this particular one here. And you're going to do that first line, which is this line here. So you'll be going over and under all the way up. Then you've got the, lo the loose loop on the back and then you're going to come back down and then you'll continue loose loop on the back and then come back up the other side. For this one, you are going to have to stop and start, but that's a lovely smooth line following that that way. Then you, when you come to here, you'll stop and you'll finish off and I'll show you how to do that later. And then number two, the green line there, this is where you're going to start stitching. So you're going to start there and follow that going along like that, long loop on the back and come back and follow that, long loop on the back and continue until you've finished. So you're actually only going to do sort of like two lines of stitching. Um, your thread may not do the whole thing, so you may have to stop and um, start with a new thread. Um, but that's really, really useful to have those sort of that sort of information on there. Um, this particular one, I love this because of the effect of the um, crosses there. And this one, you've got um, the pink line again, starting at number one. You go up the side there and come down the other side. And that's a continual line following that all the way until you finish up here. And then number two is going horizontally across from there across and back and you do the same with that um, so these are really really useful instructions to have included on the packs and we've got the final one and again it's the same sort of method so I hope that explains a little bit more about how you follow the design actually um, using the instructions that come with the pack so moving on to the um, beautiful circular design, um, I wanted to show you the instructions here and it follows the same sort of method. 
So we have a pink line, which you follow here, going all the way across. And then number two, you're going all the way across with the green line. And number three is the blue line. And you've got those little dotted lines as well. And that's the loops that go, appear on the back of the design. This is the particular one that I'm going to show you. So we have the gorgeous blue color here, but we're actually going to um, demonstrate on the cream with the navy thread. So before we get started, um, I wanted to show you the thread. Now, because of the circumstances and the situation, um, I obviously haven't got the exact thread that you'll have um, been sent to you. I have a hank of the um, navy here, which is 100 metres, and this is how the 100 metres come, and obviously the one that you'll get will be a 40 metre one. So very, very similar. Um, what you'll do is you'll take the label off very carefully, and take that off if it doesn't come off very easily like that then you actually open up the hank and you'll see that it comes up as a really really clear full hank like that now what i'm going to do is um, show you how you prepare your thread so that it makes it really really easy to actually take a thread off at a time. You'll notice one end actually has um, is tied there with a knot, and then you'll take a pair of scissors. I'm not going to cut this yet, but you cut through that, and you'll be left with just one long length of thread. And then what you'll do is you can either um, get somebody to hold it for you, which is really good, and then you would split that into three, and then you start plaiting your thread and this is how the thread appears once you've plaited it. It's a very very loose plait as well and you leave the ends actually quite loose. Don't worry if they're not the same length, it's just for storing your thread together. Once you've done that you'll be able to take one strand of the cotton thread and pull it through the actual plait. And this will come through very easily. And this means that that's a good length of thread for you to use when you're stitching. So there you go. So that's just a really, really good way to have your thread. OK, so then we want to get started. And I want to just talk to you a little bit about the needles that are used. And we have Sashko needles, which are really good. Um, I've got a few here. I'm afraid I didn't have a pack sent from the um, studio, so I'm afraid mine might be slightly different to yours, but I've had these for a little while because I've done a few Sashko projects. That's the thing. Once you get started, you're going to get addicted, so you'll want to do other projects, I'm sure. So it's really, really useful to actually invest in the right equipment. This is a normal length of embroidery needle. I hope you can see that. And if you compare it with the length of a Sashko needle, you can see that the Sashko needle is much, much longer. And this just makes it a lot, lot easier to stitch with. Um, it makes the stitching very easy to follow and it grows very quickly because you do a number of stitches in one go. So as I say, you can use a normal embroidery needle, but they do tend to be a little bit shorter. And the Sashko needles are really good for doing a lot of stitches in one go. Um, so that's what you need to do. And then you thread your needle with just a single strand of the Sashko thread. And a lot of embroiderers will go, oh no, but you actually tie a knot in the end. So you can just take an end of the thread, you can turn it around like that and make a knot. And you are going to have a knot on the back of your stitching. So please, please, if you're a normal, traditional um, embroiderer, this is the best way to actually do your Sashko stitching. OK, so we've tied our knot and we've threaded our needle and we've actually got our pre-printed fabric. And this is a gorgeous sort of like stone colour, which is really nice. And you'll notice that the actual printing on the actual fabric is, it, it is sort of like a pale grey, which is really nice. And I think it's really useful to actually say at this stage, 
was that this particular printing will come off when you wash it. So please bear that in mind that it will come off when you wash it and you won't be left. So don't worry too much if your stitches don't go um, and cover the actual printing itself. So we're going to start. I've actually done some of this because I wanted to sort of show you, um, you know, really how it grows and how it um, develops really as you're stitching. So I've left the two bottom lines there, which equate to these two here. So what the diagram's telling you is to start at number one. And so that's starting just there. So what I'll do is I'll just pick this up. I'm hoping this will be um, clear for everybody. This seems so, so strange, not having anybody else around. Um, I did wonder about um, having my family sat the other side of the camera and see if they would actually um, tell me if it, everything was going OK. So I really hope that you can see this and um, you're following it all right. So you start with a knot on the um, wrong side of the stitching. So there's your knot there. And you're starting at the first part of that grey printing. And then what we'll do, come up a little bit higher, is your stitches are going to be the length of the printing actually on the fabric. So your needle will go into the fabric and then you come through and you can actually pleat the fabric as you're um, working. So it's sort of more this type of move movement. So it's just a running stitch. So it's so, so simple, so easy. And it's just over and under. So we're going over the grey, then under the fabric on the back, over the grey, under the fabric at the back. I've only done a few stitches, but I'll just pull the needle through so that you can see the stitches as they grow. The secret as, as well of doing um, good sash go is not to pull the thread too tight. You don't want the fabric to pucker. So if you've not done it before, just take a little bit of time until you feel that you're getting your tension right for stitching. So we're going to go over and under again, and we're following the diagram on the instructions. So over and under, over and under. And you'll see that I'm actually just pleating that fabric as I'm stitching. And this is the reason why having a longer needle is a lot, lot easier, a lot better. Hoping that you can see that. So we're going over and under, over and under. Done a few more stitches, so we'll just pull it through. It comes through the fabric really, really easily. It's 100% cotton thread and it runs nice and smoothly. Again, you don't want to pull it too tight. If it does look like the fabric's puckering a little bit, then just pull the fabric over the stitches like that. So we carry on under and over. And you'll notice that I'm coming to a section where some stitches have already been done. And what you'll do is we need to miss that particular stitch there, come over slightly, pull it through. So you are missing that stitch that's already been done. Pull it through again, just make sure it's not puckered and then continue. It's so therapeutic and it's wonderful. If you're stuck at home and want something to do that you can still do and have a chat with people, it's really, really sociable because you're not having to count or um, concentrate too much. Um, you're really just sort of trying to figure out which direction to do the stitches. A couple of times I've I've already done it when I've been chatting away and I've actually come back on the circle and I thought, no, that's not right. We want to work our way across the design. So again, I hope that's coming through quite clearly for you. And we carry on like that. And as I say, um, what's wonderful about this is, um, especially Susan Briscoe and the books that we have on offer at the moment, um, we're sort of taking Sashko to quite a modern level. It's a very, very traditional craft, but we're actually suggesting that you can do lots and lots of different things with it. Play around with colour, play around with fabrics, play around with projects. 
and a couple of the books have got lots of um, really, really good projects for you to have a go at. Um, but also, especially in the um, main book, there are so many different patterns and it's just lovely trying all the different patterns. So we just follow that through. Right. One thing I did want to show you was, do you remember we talked about the loop? Well, the loops are on the back of the actual design. I'll show you there and here. So they're actually at the edge and you don't want to pull your stitches very tight. You want to leave quite a loop there. So when you get to that part of the actual stitching, don't pull it tight, leave quite a loop. And it just means that the design will stitch and the stitching will stitch, sit nice and flat. Um, so that's that part there. So I'll carry on. And you can see I'm just following this line here and up and I'll carry on all the way there and come to there. Now I will finish there and I'll show you how to finish. I know I've got some thread here on the needle, but I will show you how you can finish. You want to um, secure the thread on the back. So you'll actually pull the thread through. I usually pass my needle under a stitch. So I've got a loop there and then do another stitch under the loop, but into that section. So my thread is actually knotting round like that. And you pull that through and that's nice and secure. If you don't feel it's too much, then you could do another one. But I find that just one of those is good and you just cut that off. And that's a really, really neat way of finishing off the threads on the back. Um, so I hope that that will explain to you how to do the stitching. Once you've done the stitching and it's all complete, um, make sure that you've trimmed your design to the edge. So you've got a solid line there and then there's another line and that's where you'll trim. I've actually used pinking shears on the edge of mine. So I've got this really nice and everything. So what we'll do is you press that. I normally press it onto a towel onto the reverse of the stitching. Then you'll take the other part and you lay that on top. And I find actually laying it on top with the printed line showing is a really good way because that's where you're going to be stitching. And what you'll do is you'll start somewhere like this, do a couple of back stitch lines, then machine to the corner, needle down, come across to the corner, needle down, come all the way round like that. And you'll leave about three, four inches gap. When you finish, do your reverse stitch again. Once you've done that, you can trim the um, outside edge a little bit further. And then what you'll do is you'll turn, clip the corners, sorry, nearly forgot that, clip the corners, and then you'll turn everything through to the other side. Press it again on your towel, and you'll find that the actual open section, the raw edges will fold in, and you can um, hand stitch that, so hand stem that. And then you're left with your beautiful mat. And that's what it will look like when it's finished in the different colour. Exactly the same technique is used for the coasters as well. OK, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've really, really enjoyed sharing this with you. And I'm just so sorry that I haven't been able to do it in person. But I hope this is the next best thing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. And I hope it won't be too long before I um, actually see you in person. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye, Clara, and thank you very much for the demonstration. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing more of these videos popping into the shows in the coming weeks as well. We are playing safe here at Sewing Street, so it's presenter-only shows. Um, so it's quite nice that some of our designers have taken the time and trouble to make videos to play into the shows to make them a little bit more interesting. Um, there's only two of us in the building at the moment, so it's myself and Joe. so we are keeping safe. And hopefully that's going to mean that we can stay here for as long as possible. Um, the Ultimate Sashko um, source book. We're now down to single figures for this one, so you've been ordering while you've been watching Cara as well. It's only £11.99, but it has a recommended retail price of £15.99, so you're making a little bit of a saving there as well. If you... Oh, oh, oh. Navy coasters are down to single figures as well. So Cara's just showed you these. Um, remember, it's a kit. 
So you have the panels which are pre-printed, that's uh, the print does wash off as Cara said, and you have the ecru thread and a set of three sashko needles, all for your £22.99. And these are what you're going to be able to make, but again, single figures left with those. So if you want to order, then I would do so promptly. £22.99, CEXC38 is your item number there. Um, oh, now the denim mat, that is also now down to single figures. That's this one. Um, and again, everything that you need in the kit. So there's your pre-printed panel. Acre thread. And your needles for £22.99. And, and of course, this is what you're going to make. Let me give you the details of the white coaster kit. So I'm just going to open this up to show you what you're actually getting inside. That might be useful. So. Oh, I'm trying to do it without tearing the packet and it's not going to happen. Well, if you're thinking of things to keep you occupied while you're at home, it'll take you a good half hour to get into this to start with. <laughs> this is what you're getting. So those are your pre-printed panels. So you are going to receive the front and the back as well, so you don't have to provide any of your own fabrics. And then, oops, those are the designs that you're going to be able to make just so that you can see them. Um, as they finish, so to speak. And there's your thread. And then you've got your needles as well. But imagine the contrast between this dark navy thread and the white of the background, and that's a really nice crisp white as well. The stitches are really going to stand out. You're going to be making a striking set of coasters. So if you've gone for the blue already, why don't you go, or gone for the navy, why don't you go for the white as well? So then you can kind of alternate them around your table and you've got different designs on them as well so if you do go for two you're not repeating the design so if you're the kind of person that gets bored quite easily or you're a little bit impatient then you, you've got their eight completely different designs let me just have a check on the cream coasters oh sorry the gray ones as well they're all different as well oh that's great so no two are the same and there was another coaster set, wasn't there? This is the, is that the cream, I'm mixing them all up now. This is the cream one, and those are all different as well. Oh, fabulous. So if you went for all four sets, you're not going to repeat, be repeating yourself every time you, you make something. That one, oh no, that one there. Right, okay. Now, if you've already got your kit, or maybe you're going to go for one of the books, so it's not a kit that you wanted particularly, um, you'll still need, need your needles and your thread. So you know what's coming up next. So these are your needles. They're the same ones that you're getting in, in the kit. Um, so you've got three needles, um, a long one and two of the, the medium-sized ones, slightly different sizes in all of them. They're only £3.49. This is where I was talking about postage earlier on. Your postage is actually more than the needles, which really doesn't make sense at all. Um, but if you've already ordered your early bird, so you've got your scissors in the bag already, it's not going to cost you any extra postage if you think, oh, I really want those needles, but I'm not paying another 3 95 more than the cost of the needles. Um, this is where you can add them to your order throughout the day, even if you've checked out of what you've ordered already. If you come back and you think, I'm going to go for those needles, we won't charge you any extra postage there at all. And it's the same with your thread. So we've just got the accrue thread on its own. This is only £4.99, and again, Look at that uh, PMP because if you've already ordered, that PMP should say zero. Um, so that's XTZW3. Oh, these numbers. XTZW. Have a look on the website. <laughs> You'll see them on the page that we're on. Or if you're if you're ordering on the phone lines, just say I want that a, a crew Japanese sashko thread. If you don't mind. <laughs> now we've also got pinking shears on the show. So this is how they're going to come packaged to you. Pinking shears are really important. 
in your in your box of tools because they help to uh, stop fabric from fraying um, so therefore they can finish off seams if you're dressmaking um, if you don't have an overlocker or you don't have time to over over edge stitch all the way around the seams um, they also uh, the inside cushion covers and things like that anything that's going to go in the wash you need to finish the seams to help stop it fraying so that's a really quick way of doing them um, but also they're decorative so if you're cutting things like felt or fabrics that don't fray I know this is a cotton fabric, you get a really lovely decorative effect. And shall I show you how they actually work and why pinking shears stop fabric from fraying? If anything is cut at a 45 degree angle, it won't fray on a diagonal on woven fabric. So you've got your warp and your weft. So your warp goes north to south and your weft goes weft to right, which is how you can remember which one's which. So if you were to tear fabric, if it was to give, if it was to fray, it would fray on the warp or on the weft, not on the diagonal. It can't do it that way. So if I were to cut a piece of fabric and tear it, it won't tear that way. It will tear on on the grain straight down if i cut my fabric diagonally at 45 degrees which is in effect what your pinking shears are doing it will tear on the weave not on the diagonal it can't it can't tear on a diagonal so it can't fray on a diagonal so when you imagine when you're cutting with pinking shears this is a much larger version of what your pinking shears are going to do the fabric can't tear or fray on a diagonal at all. It'll always go to the straight of the grain. So there you go, that's, that's a bit of science for you on a Thursday morning. There you go. Um, Jan would like to see the natural placemats. Is it that one with the circles on? This is the one that Cara was demonstrating. So that's the size. So we've got it as um, um, a table runner, but it's more of a centerpiece or a placemat. Um, or it could be a small cushion cover, or you could make a, a wall hanging out of it, just mount it into a frame maybe, so you've got a picture. So that's the size that you're making, Jan. This is the kit. So needles, thread, and pre-printed fabric. And it's £22.99. Happy to help. There we go. I'm making a bit of a mess there now, aren't I? OK, well, take a look on the website again. So you've seen everything that we have for you. I hope you enjoyed um, Cara's video as well. We've got another hour coming up, or just over an hour, actually, where we're going to be featuring some brand new panels for you. Um, so it's always nice to have something new, isn't it? So go and put the kettle on, and I'll see you again in about three minutes' time.
Hi there and welcome back again. You're still watching Sane Street and I'm still Debbie Shaw and we've got some new things for you in this show as well. So I'll give you the details of the panels in just a second. Um, but we do have some beautiful fabrics that just say Easter to me. These look like um, sugared almonds. Uh, they're, they're really beautiful springtime colours of fabrics. Now we've got lots of fabrics in the show so if you don't want to sit and watch me go through all of them have a look on our website which is sewingstreet.com. Let me just open this up though because you're getting a lot for your money here. Oh, open up, open up. There you go. So there's half a metre and the whole bundle therefore is two and a half metres all together and they're just so pretty. That's, it's like a pastel rainbow. Um, so we've got the lilacs, there's the pale blue, the pink, the lovely mint green and that's very soft buttery yellow as well. And it's just £16.99 for all of those, for two and a half metres, which I think is fabulous value. And they happen to go very well with my new panels, but I'll show you that later on. So all of those, if you're using them all together, or if you're just filling up your stash, so you can use these as blenders with other projects. Perfect for patchwork and quilting, but a lovely idea if you're making um, maybe springtime little girls' dresses and things like that. They're so pretty. Or are these the baby colours? Are these the nursery colours? Have you got um, a young one expected later on in the year, maybe, and while you're at home you want to get sewing? Um, you've got some lovely colours there that you can mix and match together. So, oh, Fox, Fox C57 is your item code for £16.99. So, should we have a look at the first of the new panels? Should we do the one on the wall? Let's do the one on the wall. This is daffodils. I'm going to bring it down. Um, it's a stained glass window design. So, if you are quite new to sewing, this is a really simple project for you because you don't really have to do very much with it. Um, you can embroider, so if you're free motion embroidering, you could go over the lines with that. You could just quilt as in stitch in the ditch, but there isn't really a ditch to stitch in. You'll be stitching around the outline of the stained glass windows. But really all you need to do is to pop this on top of some, um, some wadding, put a backing fabric on it, and then some binding little bit of quilting and you've got either a lap quilt or a wall hanging. You could add ex extra borders to it so you can make it even bigger as well. But isn't that uplifting? Isn't this one of those gorgeous things you're going to have in your wall that puts a smile on your face when you wake up in the morning? It's so beautiful. I love the vase as well, the blues and the whites. It's, it's a really pretty design and it's only £12.99 which I think is fabulous value. That would make a lovely gift idea wouldn't it? either for somebody who sews as it is or completed for somebody that doesn't and it's beautiful so again see oh see you 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 see you uh, 96 your item code at just 12 pounds and 99 pence so that's the we, we do have a bundle so if you needed extra fabric we put some fabric together which matches so there's the navy and the yellow which is it's quite textural and you've got a taupe there as well. So again, if you wanted to add extra borders, if you wanted to use these for bindings, if you don't have colours in your stash that match already, we've put those together for you. And that's just £10.49. and pence. There's one and a half metres altogether, so there's half a metre of each one of those colours. There we go. So plain in the navy. This has got, it's slightly textural, almost like a tie-dye kind of look. It's got a cloudy finish to it. And then in the taupe, that's the plain as well. Almost feels like a linen look kind of fabric. It's nice quality. For £10.49. And that's, that's for the bundle that goes with the stained glass. Of course, you can order that on your own if you wanted to. The second panel we have for you is this one. They make a lovely pair, maybe one either side of the, um, the chimney breast in the living room. How's that for Easter? Look at the sunshine here. Easter countryside we're calling this one. So you've still got the daffodils there. The colours and the way you have the daffodils means that the two do blend together really well. You've got a lovely little lamb and the church and the fields and just an amazing sunshine. And again that's just £12.99. And, and we've put a bundle together for you again. What are we like? 
So instead of coordinating fabrics, again, there's one and a half meters here all together in the gorgeous turquoise blue. And you've got the same yellow as previous. And this time you've got the, uh, the lime green as well. So three fabrics for 10 pounds and 99 pence, one and a half meters all together. So, so, but let's show you, I wish we had a bigger studio. But if you do go for both of them, because they're the same size and everything, so they, they match really well. I think they just look striking together. And they're actually kind of window sized. They're really big. But wouldn't that look, make, make a, a lovely display? If you've got a bare wall, because pictures of this kind of size, if you buy one, are so expensive. But if you buy both of those, it's only about £26. And again, we've got those extra fabrics that go with both of them too. So that's that, that's with that. No, that one was with that, that was that. Now still thinking about Easter, I brought you some panels as well. I'm, I'm so excited to bring you these, look. It's not a kimono, it's a panel. So we've got lovely pastel shades with this. This one is the lambs. So these are based on my sketches. And I, I just thought they were, they were quite funny. <laughs> so we've got um, the lamb in the centre with a basket of eggs, but it's got a rogue chick in there as well with a flower in its hair. Um, we've got chicks with bows in their hair. We've got rabbits holding baskets. There's um, a rabbit with an Easter hat. I love that one of the chicks sitting down, if I say so myself. Um, rabbits with hats on. There's a lamb with a hat on its bottom. We've got, <laughs> we've got a little chick there with Easter bunny ears on. Love that. It looks like Boris Johnson. I, I, no, that, that's, that wasn't very flattering, was it? Um, really busy on the website for these already. So there's 12 panels, uh, 12 squares in total, one large one in the middle. And then you've got two panels here with just um, with flowers. So one of them's Blossom and uh, one of them is the, uh, is the daisies. I love daisies. My granddaughter was picking daisies the other day to give to her mum. It's so cute. But yeah, one of my favourite flowers. The, the lawn never gets mowed when there's daisies in it. So this is just £14.99. It's 140 by 62 centimetres, so it's quite large. And the way that this is kind of being laid out is, is quite deliberate because really all you need to do for a quick project is to cut this panel out and then sew around the edges of the boxes and, um, and you've got a quilt. So it might be quite nice, maybe with a dark grey um, to really outline here. I'll tell you what I would do, I would put some stabiliser on the back of it as well because the colours are so pale, I think it needs a backing on it. I was going to bring my drawings in this morning, I forgot completely. Um, but these, these are my sketches and it's, it's all very quick this one, I only drew them last week. Um, but I just wanted to, I wanted to bring you something that might, might make you smile a little bit. So my, my fa I, love, I love that one, my favourite one. So we've got the chicken sitting with his, uh, with his little hat on and then the rabbit holding the, uh, the flower and the chick with the daisy, rabbit with a hat and then we've got um, the lamb holding a daisy. It's all about daisies. And there's the chick with his little hat on, with his, sorry, with his rabbit ears on. Here he is sitting down again, look. And then rabbits with eggs. There's a lamb with a hat on its bottom. And then the rabbit with the hat on again. And then you've got a basket of eggs, one of them's hatched. <laughs> and then you've got your rabbit there as well. And then over this side, we've got just a big strip of um, daisies on pale blue background. And then you've got the pale blue blossom there as well. So I'm thinking with these, you could actually cut them into strips and use them as a border for your quilt. Or if you wanted to, you can make a completely different project out of those. I'm going to make uh, later on a, you know, those little bags that you see a lot of at the moment with uh, drawstring bags with bunny ears. I'm going to make one of those out of that fabric. So that's the, um, the lamb option, which is the pale blue. 
while you're there, would you like to have a look at the pink option? There you go. So this one's got a rabbit in the middle. It's still got the, the same pictures around the edge, but this time we've put the rabbit in the center. And we've still got the same panels at the side with the daisies and the blossom. Same price at £14.99. And because they are so pastel, I think they go together really well. So if you went for two panels, they don't kind of argue with each other if you wanted to mix and match up the pinks and the, uh, and the blues together. But that's the size that you're going to get again. So what are you going to make? I'm thinking just the quilt for this side and then maybe a little bag or something. Or you can cut these out individually and uh, maybe put them as pockets on an apron um, or pockets on a skirt or a, or a little dress would be really nice. So you can use them all together or use them all separately. Centered pillow, that's a nice idea. Um, you could make 12 little pink cushions out of those and then one large cushion in the center. You could make building blocks, that'd be a nice idea. You'd need six, so you can make two building blocks out of one of those, so you could make toys with them as well. And then all of this fabric at the side, again, it could be borders, um, or you could use those, you can make a little apron out of those. You don't have to cut them up, so you could use them both together. Oh, now then. Oh. So, Sue's messaged in and she wants to know what is my favorite season, summer. Definitely summer, without thinking, do you know, no, 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 maybe, maybe spring. I love it at the moment where um, I think the daffodils are just about disappearing, but you start to see the blossom on the trees and all the buds coming out. And it's just, I, 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 love, I love that. I don't like the cold and I certainly don't like the wind, um, but I do like the look of spring and the way that everything's kind of regrowing all over again. And it, I, I, that's what I love. But summer I do like, because I like to be outside. So I love to sit in the garden. I take my sewing outside in the garden. Um, I'm, I'm not so good at the gardening. I like the garden to look nice, but I don't enjoy that so much. But I love the long walks with the dog and playing outside with the grandchildren. And yeah, I, I'm definitely a summer girl, definitely not a winter girl. And she says, oh, she says, I'm very talented. Thank you very much. And have I always drawn? I, I kind of have always drawn, but never really taken too much notice of myself, if that makes sense. And then um, a few years ago, I think it was about three years ago, I I decided I wanted a range of fabric with my name on the selvage and um, I, I drew some little sketches and sent them along to um, a, a company that makes fabric and they said that they love them and they make the fabric out of them. So it kind of rekindled this love that I have of sketching. I never thought I was very good to be, I still don't. It's, uh, it's just something that I, I sit and scribble away and it kind of seems to turn out all right. <laughs> but these are the kind of characters that I like to draw. I've got, and I've got my name on it. Look at that. I got my name on there. <laughs> and honestly, it's, it's a real buzz. It's like having a book publisher the first time. It's, it's having your name on a piece of fabric and seeing something like this. And, and do you know what, what's, what gives me even more of a buzz is that you're actually buying them. <laughs> that, and that, that's so nice. And apparently you were buying them before you saw them as well. So I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh. But yeah, I like the characters. I like to add something a little bit quirky make them a little bit different. Okay, so you've got the pink, which is the, um, the, uh, the oh, rabbits, and the blue, which is the lambs, but they've got the same characters on them. So, so again, if you do go for two, then um, they match together really well. Let me know what you're going to make, but let me know what your ideas are. When you see something like that, what do you think? I mean, why are you buying it? What are you going to make with it? I'd love to know, and even more so, I'd love to see pictures of what you've been making as well. I'd love to see that. These are exclusive to Sewing Street, not on my website, not on available anywhere else at all. This is it. This is the only place that you can actually get hold of them. Um, they're printed in the UK. They're obviously designed in the UK. And um, yeah, so it's all, it's all very, very British, which is very nice. And they're 100% cotton and they wash really well, but do put some stabiliser on the back of them. I would recommend that as well, because it's quite a loose weave and they're very pale colours. So they're £14.99 each for those. Um, we've got more to show you though. I'm, I'm going to make a little drawstring bag in a bit with those, but do you want to have a look at the rest of the fabrics first? Because, oh, because we do have fabrics. All of that first bundle that I showed you, have a look on the website, match 
just throwing it in there, you know, just saying. Um, but we have pastel fat quarters as well. They kind of go too. So in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fat quarters all together in um, a beautiful selection of pastels. Again, thinking about Easter time, spring time. Um, all tied, oh, don't throw the ribbon away either. So they're all tied up with ribbon, which you can reuse as well. And if you did think about mixing, matching, then you've got the blues and the lemons, which would go really well with the, um, with the lambs and the pinks and the yellows again, which go really well with that one. Those are only £12.99 for eight fat quarters, 100% cotton, and just really useful to have in your stash, even if you don't know, uh, if you don't have a project in mind at the moment. Or you can make one of those rainbows for your window, but have it all in pastel colours, just to be a little bit different, has that? These are your spots. Oh, this is nice. Um, this is poplin. So with the poplin, you've got a lighter weave um, of the fabric, uh, the finer thread on the fabric, so it has a lovely drape. So a poplin is a perfect dressmaking weight of fabric. If you needed it to be a little bit more stable, then again, you could iron some stabiliser onto the back of it uh, or some kind of interfacing. But it has a lovely drape, has a lovely handle, which is the feel of the fabric, and really useful again. I like a patterned fabric like this on, um, for linings. Or whether it's a lining on a jacket or a lining on a bag, because I think it has a little bit more interest than just something plain. And at £18.99, you've got two and a half metres there altogether. So you've got, uh, you've got great value for money. So you have the lilac. That's a beautiful blush pink. There's like a, a petrol blue. Latte. And look at that, aubergine. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? So really useful colours if you're going to use them as blenders or for projects on their own. Now these are available by the half metre as well. If you wanted to go for the bundle, the £18.99, if you wanted one of those in particular, have a look on the website. And if you order by the half metre and you want a metre, they will come joined up together. So if you are thinking dressmaking and you need more than a half metre, have a look on sewingstreet.com and that'll give you the details. Right, now these are the stars. So again, you've got a, a poplin weight. In the pink, in the blue, and in the grey. Wouldn't that be lovely in a baby's room? Maybe making some bunting out of it. I think that would be so pretty. Uh, it's £10.99 for one and a half metres if you go for all three of those. But again, if you wanted these by the half metre, take a look on sewingstreet.com and you can order those by the half metre. So if you wanted to make a pair of curtains or a blind for the room and you needed more fabric, then um, have a look on sewingstreet.com. Should we do a bit of sewing? Okay, so we've got any messages. Um, oh, Jenny says, hi Debbie, she's ordered and she's thinking Easter cushion covers. That's a nice idea. Easter cushion covers that don't go away though, because that'd be a shame. Should we do pink or blue? Let's do blue. So, I'm just going to, oh, this is your favourite one, lovely. I'm going to make a little drawstring bag with bunny ears. I'm not using any interfacing or anything like that, so it's going to be quite quick. And I haven't pre-measured anything, so we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to cut down the edge of the print. So take the white off. By the way, um, I didn't quite get around to doing that sewing machine panel book cover that I was doing yesterday. I got, kind of got rather busy when I got home. Um, but I think if we can get some more back in stock, I've got a feeling they're going to be in a show on Saturday. So I can probably finish it then. Oh, just to mention as well, because um, I thought I was in trouble yesterday for saying something because I hadn't, hadn't been given permission or anything. Um, we are live for three hours, as from Saturday. Every day, three hours, as from Saturday morning at eight o'clock. So we're not, we're not an hour later, we're an hour earlier. Yeah, we asked, we asked. That means I'm up at four o'clock in the morning now. So I'm going to use one of these as a lining and one for the outer. So all I'm doing at the moment is cutting off the borders. And you may as well just cut out the complete panel while I'm here. So 
so. And then down this side. If you need rotary cutters, rulers, mats, have a look on the website again. You should find everything that I'm using there. So we'll put the chicks to one side for a second because I'm not using those. So that's that. And I think we'll have our bag. It's only going to be one half of this. So that's going to be about that big. Which is um, 11 inches, and each one of those panels is. Oh no, that's not right, is it? It's bigger than that. 13 inches by 11 inches. And I'll need two for the outside of the bag and two for the lining. All the same size. You could use a different coloured lining, to be honest, I, I probably would do if I hadn't got all of this fabric in front of me. And maybe do the lining in one of the pastel colours, in a pale blue maybe, or, oh that looks nice. Or maybe with a pale yellow from the bundle. But, um, but for now I'm just doing it with this. So that and that. And hopefully there'll be just enough left over to make bunny ears as well. This is a nice beginner project. I know there's lots of you um, new to sewing that want to take up new hobbies. Um, can I just mention if, you, if you've got children that are learning to sew, I've had some lovely feedback from the videos that I've been putting on YouTube. Um, really basic sewing with felt, making monsters. I'm going to do a, um, a dinosaur project over the weekend. But right back to how to thread a needle and tie a knot and things like that, so for complete beginners. Right, bunny ears. Where's my scissors? There we go. So I'll need four pieces, two for the outside and two for the lining. So I'm just kind of making this up. Like that. So one, two, three, four, and then let's sew this together. So I'm using the 570 today, which is a lovely little machine and it's got its free walking foot on. I just need the foot pedal plugging in, although it doesn't need a foot pedal. There we go. And I'm going to sew the ears right sides together. and quite close to the edge, so I'm using just under a quarter of an inch seam allowance. The machine may sound a little bit noisy because it's got the walking foot on. They do tend to, because you've got the mechanism at the top of the, um, the foot, as well as the feed dogs underneath, it just, you can actually hear it kind of munching away at the fabric. So literally around the edge, and remember that's free. There's a free walking foot, there's a free free motion embroidery foot and some free fabric with this one as well. You've actually got about 80 pounds worth of freebies when you order this machine. And there's 380 stitches and there's a memory and you don't need to use the foot pedal. It's a lovely little machine. Um, okay, that's that one. Do the same with this one. And there's a reason I'm sewing very close to the edge, which will become clear in just a second. I trimmed down the seams anyway, certainly when I'm going around a curve, so I thought I may as well just sew a very narrow seam allowance to start with. So just round and down. So, oh, talking about YouTube, this show will be on YouTube, as are all of our shows here on Sewing Street. So if you just joined and said, oh, I didn't know what was happening, I missed all of those measurements, then you can take a look on, uh, on our YouTube channel. It should be there later on this afternoon, probably. Uh, missed a bit, so I'm just going to go around that bit again. So we're we doing indoor Easter egg, Easter egg hunts this year. I wouldn't have done an Easter egg hunt. 
I don't really do Easter. It might be different this year. Right, and turn that one out. So I'm just going to press those. So I've got, I've got the iron done in the cellar. So there's one. What is quite nice as well, you could put um, a little bit of blusher on the inside of the ear to make it pink. Or if you've got some pink felt, just cut out um, a smaller piece like this and just make a, a colour for the inside. It would be rather sweet. Or, of course, if you've got the fat quarters. When we have our new studio, we're going to have a little table so we don't have to keep everything on the floor. Um, right. On the floor again. Because I've got these to make the air stand up. So I've got some chenille sticks. We used to call them pipe cleaners back in the day, but it's not very really PC these days. So let's put... So I've bent that in kind of half like that. And that's just going to go inside the ear. Right up to the end. Let's push that in. Like so. And then you can bend it. And do the same on this one. Just means that the ears are going to stand up, but I, I kind of like one ear up and one ear down. It gives it a little bit of quirkiness, a bit of personality. Push that down to the end again. And then I'm just going to sew just on the inside of the ear, just to hold that in place around the edge. Oh, that was a squeak. So just make sure that's right up against the seam. The foot will push it up against there anyway. There you go. Be careful not to sew over your stick, because it's got wire in the middle of it, so you could break a needle on that. So just around the corner. And again, avoiding that stick. I don't want to break a needle. So again, it just, it just makes a, a bit of a difference, doesn't it? And do the same with this one. Like so. So again, I'm just pushing that stick up to the edge. Stopping with the needle down if you're going to manoeuvre the fabric underneath it so you don't spoil your stitch line. And down to the bottom. And that's that. So these are going to go just on one side of the um, of the top of the bag, and I need to sew those facing downwards like that. Um, I could do with chopping off actually the end of the stick. We've got oh, oh, old scissors. They're not old scissors. Those can be old scissors. They're old scissors now because I'm cutting through wire. Oh, they're left handed ones as well, aren't they? Don't tell anybody. Right, so should we have the, let's have daisies as the outside of my bag and we'll have the blossom as the lining and those two are just going to be sewn, let's do them that way, no we'll do them that way. Let's mark where the centre is by folding this in half and just creasing down one side and then that can go there. And that can go there. And again, be careful, I do have um, the, the wires right at the end, so I'm just going to take it easy as I sew towards them. Because I don't want to hit those with the needle. So there and there. And I'll just sew across those to hold them in place. So quite close to the edge. So, 
and then I can take the pins out. So that's going to be one side of my bag. So let's have a think. Let's put the lining piece right sides together. And I'm just going to sew across the top so the ears are trapped in between the two pieces. And then I'll do the same with the lining. So again, I'm just coming up to where the wire is. So I'm just going to slow down carefully. If I do hit the wire, at home, cut these back so you haven't got the wire going in the seam allowance. I think that would be the best option. And that's it. And then we'll do the same with the second two pieces. So just make sure they're the right side up. So no bunny ears on this side, the bunny ears are just going to go on the one side. really quick project and although you know bun is associated with um, with Easter these could be for all year round couldn't they uh, okay so let's open this up so I'll just finger, finger crease it and then these two pieces are going to go right sides together and we're going to sew all the way around Matching the seams at the side here and leaving a gap in the bottom of the lining so I can turn it the right side out. Right, so I'm going to start from that side seam because I want that to line up, so that's going to be the easiest place to start. And so all around the, the outside of the back. So you could pin these, I tend not to with, uh, with items like this because I find it just as easy to line up the raw edges as I'm sewing. If I'm dressmaking, yes, lots and lots of pins because you have to be really accurate. But this again, it's a, it's a drawstring bag, you're not going to wear it. Which why again, I think it's a great idea for, um, for a beginner sewer because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It doesn't matter too much if your stitches go a little bit wobbly. Um, the seam allowance isn't perfect and it's a great one to get the kids started in sewing as well and it's a great time to get kids sewing you know I think I think it's one of those because I don't know whether many um, schools actually teach sewing at the moment so let me know if, if you do know I'd, I'd, I'd love to know about that but I think sewing is one of those life skills that everybody should know Purely because one day your button's going to come off, you're going to catch a heel in your hem, you'll have a hole in your pocket, you'll have a pair of jeans that you want repairing, or a zip that's gone. Ultimately, if you're repairing your own wardrobe, you're going to save yourself so much money. Because otherwise, what are you going to do? Are you going to pay somebody else to do that, or are you going to just buy new garments instead? So I think as a life skill, it's the same with cooking. I think children should learn how to cook, they should learn how to grow their own in the garden if you can, they should learn how to sew. But the thing with sewing, it's creative as well, so it's an important skill for everybody, I think, but there again, you can have fun with it. And projects like this, if you are teaching a child to sew while they're off school, um, or being homeschooled, I should say, it doesn't take too long, I think kids get very bored very quickly. So it's nice to be able to produce something that they can use, they can play with, but uh, ultimately it's quick to do as well. Shall we square the bottom off a bit? We could do that, we've got time, haven't we? So I'm going to take the, the, the front and the back sections and pull them apart. Not as in criticise them, but you know, just pull them away from each other. And I can feel where the seams are, and they're sitting right on top of one another. So I'm going to squish them in opposite directions, then I don't have to worry about pressing the seam open, and it'll cut down on the bulk as I sew over the corner. So measure and mark that if you like, but I'm just going to sew about an inch and a half from where the stitches are. Not from the edge here, but from where the stitches are, and sew straight across, so I'm making a triangle. And I'll need to do that in all four corners. 
So this is a really easy way of squaring off a base. Um, the larger your triangle, the bigger the base is going to be. So I think for something of, of this size, an inch and a half is quite nice. So that's that. You could cut those off if you want to, but I'm, I'm not going to for this one. So again, let's pull that open. Squish these in opposite directions. Measure about an inch and a half and sew across. And you'll need to do this on the lining as well. So squish, line them up, about an inch and a half from the point, so straight across. It's quite formulaic, isn't it? Like a little bit of choreography going on. So, what are you doing for Easter? Do you do something for Easter? I was going to say, do the family come around? No, the family don't come around at the moment. Strange, isn't it? Let's do this. And good. Okay, so, in fact, oh, sorry about that. Let's cut those bits off. So I'm just cutting straight across the corners that I've just sewn. Like that. Then we'll turn it the right side out. So I'm pushing out the corners, pull it all the way through. There's my ears. <laughs> so I'm just pushing out the corners. You can see that nice square base there. And on this side. Makes it a little bit more professional, doesn't it? And it makes it a bit more roomy inside as well. So there's the opening that I left for turning. If you put your fingers inside and pull the opening to the side, the seam allowance automatically folds in. So I'm just going to sew across there on my sewing machine. You could sew by hand, as does Jenny Harris. Now she's learned how to do a ladder stitch um, and make an invisible seam there, but I don't think anyone's going to be looking inside here. It's only going to be full of eggs anyway. Oh, well, send me some messages on Facebook if you've got time. Lovely to hear from you. Right. Let's pop this inside here. So if you can get out in the garden, an Easter egg hunt in the garden is going to be some nice exercise, isn't it? Um, if you can't get outside, then why not have your Easter egg hunt inside? Well, it doesn't have to be an Easter egg hunt, does it? If you can't get Easter eggs, you could be hunting anything. You could be hunting promises, write little notes and see how many they can collect. Now I need to make a channel for a drawstring or for a ribbon because this is going to be gathered up so it's like that. So I'm going to sew about half an inch all the way around. And then where the ribbon goes in, I'm just going to unpick a little hole there in the side of the seam. Just over half an inch because I think my ribbon's half an inch wide. So backwards and forwards. And just a nice neat channel all the way around. My daughter's been making these. She's made three, um, all in different sizes. They look really sweet. And I was thinking they, yeah, they're, they're nice for an egg hunt, of course, but they make nice little drawstring bags to keep toiletries in. So you could have one for each member of the family and keep your bathroom bits and bobs in there. Or some of you sewing things, or yeah, it could be a pajama case or a nighty case. So just keep that nice and even. All the way around. So I need I need to go down to the cellar again. Because I need some ribbon. And that's probably gone on the floor, hasn't it? Oh, okay. And I need a safety pin. I'll tell you what I could do, because this is really rude, isn't it? And if you just joined us, you're going to wonder what on earth is going on. <laughs> I'm going to bring my box up here. That would probably be easier. Because I just need a safety pin. 
and I'm so well prepped. So I've got all of those threads, I've got all of those. So it's really noisy. It's not my overnight bag. This is my sewing requisite box. And if there's not a safety pin in here, I should be so surprised. I've got zips, I've got bias binding, I've got elastic, I've got a little note from my husband. I've got my glues, I've got my pens, I've got threads, I've got needles. It's my, it's my first aid kit for sewing. That goes everywhere with me. Oh, June's going to send some goodies to her grandchildren in the post. That's a lovely idea. Oh, and she says these will be perfect for them. Thank you. So, unpick. And I'm just going to unpick a few of the stitches in the side seam here. Just above the channel. Should we do two? We can do one in, one in each direction, can't we? So we'll undo, just on the outside fabric, we'll undo another piece there. And then I'll take my ribbon and I'll need enough to go all the way around in both directions. You don't have to do them in both directions, I just thought I'd be a bit extravagant. So that's about the same length. And then pin goes in there and we thread. Doesn't have to be ribbon. If you've got piping cord, that looks quite sweet as well. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what you could use. That ribbon that was around the fat quarters that I said don't throw away. Ideal for things like this. So just coming across the other seam. Oh, Laura's got the blue panel. What are you going to do with it, Laura? She loves them. She loves my drawings. Thank you. And she's thinking of making some, oh, bits with the kids. I thought she said bibs. You can make bibs. She's making bits with the kids. And she's doing an Easter display on her window. Oh, that's a nice idea. Right, just keep threading. I couldn't have found a bigger safety pin, could I? Just keep going all the way around. It's always a little bit tricky when you come up to the seams because the safety pin always goes into the bit that you don't want it to. There we go, that comes out that side. Out you come. Actually, I think that's going to be a little bit tight to put to, so I'm just going to do the one drawstring in that one. So let's flip the ears out. Pull up the drawstring. a little bow at the side. And there's my little drawstring bag. With bendy ears. So you can make those any size that you like. You can make the ears even bigger if you wanted to because they stand up so well. Um, if I'd done a wider channel so I could fit two ribbons in there, you could have one at each side. You can make little handles out of those. You can maybe put a loop on the back here. Um, so you don't need to tie a bow in the side. That can just draw at the side and have a loop to hang it up. So you can maybe hang this on the back of a door and use it as storage in a bathroom or a bedroom maybe. So bunnies aren't just for Easter time. So I hope you like that. I'll put my safety in where I can find it. But remember that was the, the lamb panel you out of the way and all of this is still left over so all I used was the two pieces of fabric at the side and I still have the whole little panel here that I could I could just quilt as it is um, or I can cut all of those pieces up I could make cushion covers um, like um, like Jean said 
Um, I could cut each one of those um, little characters out and use them for a plique, either on little girl's dress or a pair of dungarees, I think would be really sweet. Um, what about around the bottom of a blind? Just cut them out and sew them on um, in a row. That would look really nice. On an apron, maybe. You could use these in the kitchen. They're lovely in children's rooms, I think. You could even make mobiles out of them. Um, so all of those little characters, all hand-drawn by myself and uh, all Easter themed in a beautiful pastel. Um, Pastel blue, really pale blue. So do you want to have a look at the characters again if you just if you just joined us? There we go. And oh we have some more messages. Oh lovely. Oh Shelley, hi Shelley. She says, Morning Debbie, brilliant show with Cara. That's the perfect way forward without the risk. Living your demo too. Thank you. In the previous hour, if you have a look on our YouTube channel, if you just joined us, if you're there later on today, we had um, a, a Sashko show with Cara Aikerman guesting, but not in the studio because we're thinking about safety and health and everything. So she actually recorded um, a video um, on her phone and hopefully we'll be doing more of that in the future. Um, Sue says, um, morning Debbie, lovely Dem, thank you. Both of my children, 13 and 14, have been using an overlocker at school, making a t-shirt and a hoodie. Brilliant! That is so good. They're still to finish them when they go back. Oh, it's pretty they couldn't have brought them home. Maybe you'd need an overlocker, wouldn't you? Well, if you don't have an overlocker, slinky link there. Um, I've got one on Tuesday. It's uh, an Elmer overlocker, and that will be in the 11 o'clock show. After I've already brought you the 8 o'clock and the 9 o'clock show, 10 o'clock show, not 11. Good goodness, not, not yet. <laughs> um, because we're going live for three hours as from Saturday. So 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock every single day. So that's because... Well, it, it's, it's your fault because the channel's growing so much. We started off with one hour a day. After a couple of weeks, we went up to two hours a day. And within moments, it seems, we're now three hours a day. So hopefully before long, we'll be doing the full five hours a day. So thank you to you for your support because it's all down to you. Um, so these are um, my little sketches. So the big one in the centre there is the, the lamb with the basket. And he's got a little chick. I haven't got names for these. Maybe you could name them and let me know what you think. So there's the centre one, and then at the top, we've got rabbit with a... It's me, look! <laughs> there's a rabbit with a hat, and then a chick with a daisy. Carl, apparently, calling that. What was the first rabbit? That's Jerry, Jerry the rabbit, and Carl. And this is um, another rabbit with a, an Easter bonnet on, Mildred. And can that one be Boris? Because it just... It uh, just reminds me of him. Um, and then we've got a rabbit with a basket with a daisy in there. I think we're running out of names now. Sheila. <laughs> Chick in a basket is Connie. Eric has a hat on with a flower in it. Uh, Dave, actually, my son's called David, he won't appreciate that. Um, that's David with a, a bonnet on his bottom. <laughs> Lucy. There's Boris again. <laughs> and then there's a chick with a rabbit ears on. That's Alfie. And then finally is the little lamb there holding the, um, the daisy. So that's the, the lamb option, which is a pale blue. It's only 14 99 you're getting, you're getting so much fabric there. And then the pink option, it's got the same animals. I can't remember any of those names, but they've got the same animals. And this time, featuring the rabbit in the centre and a pink background on this one. This is a really lovely kind of baby pink, very pastel. Because it's so pastel and you've got a looser weave, please use a backing on it. So just some non-woven interfacing, the kind of thing that you use in collars and cuffs would be absolutely fine if you wanted to give it a bit of oomph. Um, if you're quilting, you can use um, a, a wool or a cotton mix uh, wadding. If you're making cushion covers, then your Valiseline H640 would be very appropriate. So again, you've got all of those panels. So it's, it's not a plain pink, it's got a little dot in it as well, so it gives it a nice, nice texture. And then over this side, pink's your favourite one. You've got two strips of fabric with the daisies and with the blossom. And these again, they're all my, they're all my sketches. I wish I'd have brought them, I just completely forgot this morning. There you go. 
Um, and again, £14.99. We do have something that would go very nicely, um, which is the pastel bundle, so I can show you those together. That's all. Of, oh, we're doing the half metre bundle or the fat quarter bundle, sorry. These are half metres, OK. Um, they are available individually, so have a look on the website on sewingstreet.com. We don't have huge stocks of the lilac option on its own, but it is in the bundle here. But if you're going to go for either of my panels and you want to stretch the fabric out and make it last a little bit longer, as in using um, one of your plain fabrics as a lining or if you're putting borders around something, let me show you because that works really well with these. So... Because I was thinking that you could use the, um, the printed fabric as a border, but if you wanted to use that for another project, how about using the lemon? So that would make a nice kind of border because it picks up on the yellow here. Like so. Or you could use the pink, but you're getting all of them. The pink works really well. It's funny, isn't it? When you put a border of a particular colour, it, it just picks up whatever colour in the fabric. So if I was to put blue next to it now, your eyes are automatically drawn to the blue eggs, isn't it? Um, the pale green. Have I got green in there? Yeah. So that's picking up on all of the green bits. And then, in fact, these all go so well, it's almost like it was planned. With the lilac, we've got lilac eggs there as well. So all, every one of those five pieces will go with your panel. And there's half a metre in each one, so all together there, you've got two and a half metres, 100% cotton, really beautiful quality, and it's only £16.99 for all of them. Now, if you do want to go for the lilac, that's been your favourite one out of the individuals. By the half metre, you can buy these. If you want a metre um, of fabric, then they will come joined up. So if you want a two metres of fabric, order four, and you'll get a two metre length of fabric. So it is 140 wide. It's 44 wide, isn't it? It's 112 centimetres in width. It feels like 112 um, for three pounds and 49 pence. So that's great value. 44 inches wide. There you go. That's 112 centimetres. And again, 100% cotton. Just really useful. Use it as a blender. Use it for a project on its own. It's a really, really pretty coloured fabric. Nice to see the spring colours, isn't it? Isn't it nice to see blue skies? Oh, this, this morning, coming into work, as I suggested, I've got quite a long journey to come in. Um, so I, it was dark when I left, and then uh, daybreak is kind of... Round, round about Leicester, I'd say, daybreak is. <laughs> but the sun was shining so much, and it was so low, and it was so golden. Couldn't see a thing out of my wing mirrors, because it was just blinding. But it was wonder. I love that. And when the sun does come up, and the sky was completely clear and crisp and blue, and, and that colour, it's, it's, that's what I love about springtime. So, OK, so if you wanted to go for the bundle again, that's £16.99 for all five pieces. If you wanted to go for the fat quarter bundle, we've got those for you as well. Those go really well with the panels too. But let me move that out of the way so you can see what you're getting here. Um, you've got eight, in, eight fat quarters in this bundle for just £12.99. And okay, sugared almonds, that's what it looks like to me. Or nougat. Oh, oh what, what are those, um, those cakes that you split into four? That are like in, is it? Oh, I can't remember. Um, so, £12.99. Why are we talking about cakes? <laughs> or oh, angel cake. Yeah, angel cakes are those kind of colours, aren't they? Thinking cakes. So, £12.99, eight of those in total. So, that again is great value for money, and they're all 100% cotton too. And oh, look at this for a sunshine. That, that's what it was like in my wing mirror this morning when I was coming into work. Um, this is a complete panel. So this is the, uh, the Easter countryside panel. Um, this is exactly what you get. So there's no patchwork and piecing together or anything like that. This is what you're going to get. So all you need to do, if you wanted to, is to put a border around it. You can quilt it as it is. You could do a little bit of free motion embroidery on there. You don't have to do anything at all. You could literally just put some binding and backing on this and you've got a lovely wall hanging. Makes a nice lap quilt as well. But I think this kind of thing, as a display on your wall, 
um, is, is really, really striking. Maybe you've got a, a dark area in your room, so that you just wanted to add a little bit of light and brightness to it. Um, it's, it's kind of window sized as well, it's a really big one. But I love the colours on there, they're, they're just so, so happy, aren't they? And again, it's only £12.99. We do have a bundle that goes with this as well, so if you wanted to add extra borders, then you can do. Um, these are available on their own as well, so if you wanted to use one as a backing fabric, you might need to order a metre of that. Um, but to make the whole quilt look so much bigger, just keep adding more and more borders around it. That's a really simple thing to do. And of course, you can use this to make your bias binding as well. Those are £10 and £99. And again, they are available on their own, if it's just one particular colour that you wanted on the website on sewingstreet.com. Oh, the pastel bundle's going to go. So, quick reminder here. It's about to sell out, so check out of your baskets, please, if you're ordering on sewingstreet.com. If you're ordering on the phone lines, that's 0800 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, number down here, 001 4433. Um, then can you do that rather quickly if you want to get hold of these, because they are about to go. All of those, £16.99. Let's give you a reminder of our other panel. This is Easter daffodils. I'm going to hold them up kind of next to each other so you can see how they'd look as a display. In fact, if I hold it up next to the other one, I'm standing right in front of it and you won't be able to see a thing. But if I do that, pin it to the wallpaper. Oh, you thought it was real bricks. Um, that's what you would have if you went for both of them together. And don't they just, they just stand out so much. This is going to be such a feature in, in your room. And again, this could be a completed project. All you need to do is to finish the edge. So if, if you love the panels, but you're not a quilter, you're not a great sewer, you're a complete beginner, all you need to do is to put some backing fabric on this, and that's the easiest thing. So you don't have to quilt it. You don't have to do anything to them at all. But I think if you can get some, um, some wadding, nice thick wadding, even a polyester one, because this is going to hang on the wall. Um, the polyester ones tend to be a lot thicker. You can get something that's about half an inch thick. So when you quilt into it, you really get the stitches sinking in around the lines. So that would be a nice idea. Right. Um, oh, just a reminder, or to let you know, this is the bundle that we, we thought this goes real well with the um, Easter countryside stained glass. There isn't a picture on the website, apparently. But that's what it looks like. Yeah? OK. It is coming, apparently, but if you wanted to go for that bundle, um, there's no picture at the moment. We do have a bundle to go with this one. So we put together a navy and the grey and the textured uh, yellow as well. So you've got all of those three colours, which go perfectly well, but they are available on, on their own. So if you wanted these three half metres, they're £10.49. These are, again, available by the metre if you have a look on the website on sewingstreet.com. Right. Right at the beginning of the day, so when we went live at 9 o'clock, we brought you an early bird special. So let me give you a reminder of this because you make a saving on an early bird. So you've got a set of two pairs of scissors, those are dressmaking shears, and you've got your snips um, or your embroidery scissors. You have pins and you have a thimble. And it's all boxed for you, so it's a, it's a perfect gift idea for anybody who sews. It's only £14.99, so you're making a saving of £5 off the usual price as long as we have the stock. And we will keep this price at this price while we have the stock, so until we actually sell out. So the scissors themselves, or the shears, are a really lovely quality. You can see with the shears, shears have a bent handle, so therefore you get the full length of the blade in the cut, so it makes it very easy to cut. And you've got the larger section for your fingers, the smaller one for your thumb. Scissors have symmetrical ends. In fact, this is a pair of scissors. So that's the difference between scissors and shears. Scissors have two little holes, exactly the same size. Shears have one large finger hole and one smaller thumb hole. Um, and they're normally angled like this so that it makes it easier to cut, particularly if you are, let's see, a piece of thread on me. I'm covered in thread. I've had complete strangers picking thread off me before now. You know, you've got a thread on you. Um, 
so that you, you get the full length of the cut so it makes it easier if you're cutting larger pieces of fabric so maybe that is a trimming a quilt or if you're cutting um, curtain fabric and things like that they're nice quality they're a good weight to them but they're easy to use um, and they're sharp right up to the point as well which is a big deal because a lot of scissors aren't and when you want to really snip into something very close and you can't get there it's frustrating there's a little set of pins with silver ball heads and there's a thimble in the box as well so you've got all of those pieces for your 14 pounds and 99 pence there you go there you go so this is the early bird. Um, wherever we can, we're going to try and bring you an early bird. So a special offer priced item um, when we first go live first thing in the morning. So today this went live at nine o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow morning, your early bird will be at nine o'clock in the morning. On Saturday morning, your early bird will be at eight o'clock in the morning. We've got three hours a day. This is so exciting. This happened an awful lot quicker than we expected it to. And again, that's all thanks to you of being so supportive and being there for us so that's your early bird still available um, oh gabrielle is it gabrielle or gabriel uh, says morning toby great dem i think you can't wait to be a granny and make all these lovely fabric things love the panels what's the other panel no picture on the side oh, that's the, um... will that be the fabric bundle the, the picture that, that's missing isn't a panel, it's the, the fabric that goes with the panel. So the panel is this one, and this is a separate item, but we kind of thought that they go together, so that's why it might say panel on there, but that's, that's the missing picture. So are, are, you, are you going to be a granny, or you just like to be a granny? I'm grandma, and I love being grandma. Grandma is the best word in the, in the English language. These are the stars. So again, you've got a poplin fabric, perfect for dressmaking. Um, the bundle is all three colours. So you've got the pink, the blue and the grey for £10.99. If you just wanted one of those colours, take a look on the website and they are available by the half metre. In fact, we'll give you the details because this has been really popular. Um, aren't they fun? Aren't they pretty? Boys or girls, if you're thinking about children's bedrooms, I don't think it matters. And they're all such lovely nursery nursery colours. So if you're going to go for the traditional pink or blue, you've got your pink and the blue, if you prefer the greys and the taupes and the neutral tones for nurseries then we've got the grey for you as well. But let's give you the details individually. So this is pink stars. This again 44 inches wide, that's 112 centimetres. And you've got a really pretty pink. Really soft, very pastel, baby pink. And it's only three ninety nine for half a metre. It's good value, isn't it? It's got a nice drape to it as well. So if you are dressmaking, then it's it's going to be comfortable, comfortable and soft. This is the blue. There you go. So this is Rose and Hubble fabric. And, and again, it, it's a poplin, so it has an, it's a fine fabric. You can see that by the way that it just kind of folds and drapes. So it's a tighter weave than you'd expect to find from a quilting cotton, but you can still quilt with it if you like. Who would know? And at £3.99, it's a great one to keep in your stash as well. Something that I think you'll use time and time again. So that's the blue. And then finally, this really soft grey, I do, that's my favourite one. I love this colour. It's a very elegant grey, isn't it? And if colours looked expensive, this is the kind of grey that looks expensive. So, is it going to be cushion covers? As you're ordering by the half metre, is it going to be starry curtains in the bedroom? Are you, are you quilting with it? Are you going to dress make with it? Are you going to make a little nighty or a blouse out of this? Or a skirt or a summer dress? Is it going to be cushion covers? Which room is it going to go in? How about the conservatory? If you, uh, We don't have a conservatory. I'd love one. I think I'd be spending all my time in there. And again, at £3.99, a very affordable price for 100% cotton uh, poplin. VKL J98. And again, this is Rose and Hubble fabric. 
Right, now we do have some other bits and bobs to show you, so we've still got time to introduce you to some more things. We've got the beehive collection for you. Yeah, beehive yourself. So that they make a nice little collect. Oh, nice little. I'll show you this one as soon as it's open now. So this is an exploding box. Peaked early there. Um, I do like these. I love the quality of them. Um, so they're covered in fabric and they're embroidered. But look what happens here. There is your complete sewing kit. So gorgeous. We have the vintage style of scissors. And you've got the tape measure in there, you've got an unpicker, a needle threader, spare threads and a spare one, and the pincushion in the centre. What a lovely idea is that for either your sewing room, and in fact even if you're not sewing, these are the kind of things that you need for general repairs. So even if you're not a, you know, a dressmaker or a quilter, you need these things in your home for those days when you split your trousers. You've got a little bit of mending to do. Look how pretty this embroidery is. All of that done by hand. That's £22.99. We have the little bee beehive hive pincushion here as well. And again, consider all of this is sewn by hand. It's so time consuming. Isn't that pretty? They make a really nice collection. Um, that again is £9.99. And then finally here is your storage drawstring bag. We keep our cotton wool in here. But it's quite a sizable bag. So maybe your threads. I've got my big box down there and I think practically everything I have in there would fit in here. But it doesn't have to be for your sewing requisites, does it? This can be maybe in the kitchen, you could keep it in the bedroom or in the bathroom. And that's £16.99. pence. going to give you a reminder as well. Let me just tidy these up. Because we're running out of time of the Sashko set. This is the natural uh, one with the, I'll show you the mat, because Cara's actually started making this one up. That's the size and what you're going to get. Obviously that's not quite finished as yet, but that gives you an idea of what's in the kit. So the fabric is pre-printed, that washes out afterwards, so don't wash it beforehand. And you have the thread, and you have three needles as well. And there is a demonstration, there was a demonstration in the previous show to this one. So if you haven't been with us all morning, then take a look on uh, our YouTube channel and uh, Cara will explain the technique and basics of, uh, of Sashiko. And we've got more Sashiko kits and products on there as well. Now, now John's going to be with you tomorrow morning. He has a fabric hour at nine o'clock in the morning and then he's got his B and Angie Borgello quilts coming up at 10 o'clock. I'll see you again on Saturday morning at eight o'clock. Remember we're going three hours live then. Um, and then I'll be with you again on Tuesday um, and sewing surgery is going to be on Tuesday. So still keep questions coming into the Sewing Street Facebook page. And we've got, got new tools for you and we have a, um, uh, an overlock coming up for you at 10 o'clock on Tuesday as well. Um, so coming up next, we have one of the shows that was on yesterday. I shall see you again on Saturday morning. Have a good day, bye bye.